Ladies and gentlemen, I am your planetary defense commander. And if you've been asking, is Trump taking hydrochloroquine? The answer is yes. President Trump just announced minutes ago that he has been taking the malaria drug hydroxychloroquine. Um, and so everybody has now launched into a, wait, what? And since January 30th, I've been telling everyone that the virus is real. And like 46% of the people have been saying, no, it's not. Or it's just like the flu. And this is America. You're free to believe whatever, believe whatever you want to. But as your planetary defense commander, I like to do what I can to get my information correct. Anyway, so Trump has announced that he is taking hydrochloroquine. So that's all I can verify that he said that. And this person was like, I don't believe that he's taking hydrochloroquine. I'm like, well, what is that? Is he, what does that even mean? Like him taking it as a hoax? Like, uh, what is he now? Like a personal hydrochloroquine salesman? Are you implying that that's what he's doing? I don't think that's the case. I think that, that he may have it. Um, have the virus. Because as I did a couple reports last week, a bunch of people in the White House started to come down with the coronavirus. And that just because people don't take it seriously doesn't mean that they can't get it. And he's not been wearing masks for a while, and he's been around a bunch of people who don't worry about wearing masks. When I've been saying wear masks indoors and if you're around people who have not been taking the plague seriously since the beginning of February. Anyway, so he's been saying he's been taking it for a few weeks. Now you can guess that he's been taking it as a precaution in case he gets it, so he fights it from the minute you would get it. Or you can guess that he may have actually gotten the virus, which I've been warning of for 10, 15 days. Like, I don't know, man. I've been trying to do the best defense I could for everyone. So I'm in the moment here with you, in shock, kind of with you. Dear leader, announced he's been taking hydrochloroquine for a week and a half. See, people can't even get how long he's been taking it right. I don't know how long he's been taking it. Only he knows that. Or the people that's been giving it to him. Donald Trump says that he is taking hydrochloroquine is like Mike Pence saying he's having impure thoughts about a woman and you know that's a regular thing at Thor News I admit I haven't made out with anyone in two and a half years and that I have a large list of well it's like 10 women that I would make out with out of 3.5 billion that I'd be more than happy to make out with kiss cuddle ponder the world stare at stars drink margaritas smoke cigarettes way too many chain smoke as we talk about our president may or may not have a virus and what we could do to avoid it and keep our friends and family safe. Um, cause do doom is like an aphrodisiac to me. It makes me appreciate the things that make me appreciate that make me feel like I'm alive, you know, dancing, singing, kissing, um, laughter. Uh, and there's no such thing as Schrodinger's booty. The booty is either in your hands or it's not in your hands. You know, like the booty is not in your hands and not in your hands at the same time. That doesn't happen. It's one or the other. So yeah, I'm freak, not freaked out a little, but I'm just saying that this is so, like this planetary defense commander. I don't want to lose any president, and so you know, people have said, "Hey, if you get the virus and you have pre-existing conditions, it's not really a big deal. You shouldn't have got the virus." And so Trump is over seventy and he's overweight like me, and so if he does have it, then let's hope the oxyhydrochloroquine will win wins and works because if we lost him that would make everything that much more 2020 or and things are already on the edge as it is totally and texas just announced today that they're totally opening everything up to like pro sports and stuff texas said it's opening pro sports and i'm like what does that even mean man are you gonna have the cowboys play the texans for 10 games i mean that would be kind of cool and I, I think texans would probably fill the stadiums to go see that um so it's an idea you know, maybe you could have the Mavericks play the Rockets, but have everybody involved play amazing defense. Uh oh, here comes a, a weed eater. Can you hear that? Uh, this uh, how in the moment I am. I'm not stopping for weed eater, man. You cannot. Okay, Jump just said that he has been taking hydrochloroquine for a week. See, people can't even decide. Has it been a week? Has it been a week and a half? Has it been two weeks? Has it been three weeks? It's like the kindergarten whisper game. This will be big news now. Yeah, and rightly so. When your president announces that he's taking the drug that you only really take when you've acquired a virus, 
you know, he may be taking it for defensive purposes, but it's a weird time for him to point it out now, like 10 days after I was freaking out. And I said I was freaking out like four times because a bunch of people in the White House got tested positive. I should calm down. Am I talking fast? Man, I want to cuddle. Now with Kramer. Trump tells reporters he has taken hydrochloroquine. The heads explode. You know, and being a single man without any kids, people have accused me of being gay for years just because I'm a single man without any kids. I'm like, dude, I went to college twice in Denton, which has UNT and the Texas Women's University in like a closed off town sense. So it was the only place I've ever been in my life where there were five women to every three dudes. I have my science. I, I love women that much. And unfortunately, I have the highest taste in women. I mean, you know, it's because of my mom. Yeah. My mom, I learned everything from my mom. My mom's badass. What? This video got weird, huh? I've been on lockdown for two years. President Trump says he has been taking hydrochloroquine. Hey, you'd be surprised at how many people are taking it. I happen to be taking it. And I wouldn't be that surprised, dude. I have stayed plugged into the news. Definitely since January 23rd. And that Thor News, which has never been about plague focus, became hyper plague focused. Although I took off May a little bit because I got so tired of the people who are like, it's a hoax. It's just a flu. Bill Gates. Fauci. Like the people who are like literally the, you know, the, I don't know, the people who don't help any and have literally been harming their own people by putting out really bad information and fighting just wearing a mask. I want to note that Houston, Texas, the place I live, has been ranked one of the best as far as losing people per millions and infections and when people get it they do fight it because the texas spirit and i gotta say i think texas is bigger than maga because texas is never about one single man as cool as i am texas is a group of people like me a group of really cool really funny really kind really caring really generous people you know and so i don't know there is a, uh, during the summer they opened up texas right and so we're gonna get a lot of people coming to texas but not a lot of, but you got to like respect the Texas cool code, man. You know, I'm planetary defense commander, but I'm also lived in Texas 40 years of my, uh, 39 years of my life, somewhere around there, 37, maybe. So, and I take it seriously. I got a good reputation in the state all around. And so there's going to be a party in Texas this summer. It can't be stopped. It can only be guided. And it's going to get weirder. And the virus is serious. And no matter what, the virus is probably going to resurge bad again when it gets cold again. I mean, there is a small chance that Solar Maximum could knock it out in July, like I've talked about. It's a possibility that's on the table. But we have to raise our vibration. Trump just said that he has taken hydrochloroquine. Have I pronounced it correct yet? I guess he has the hoax. President Trump just announced that he's taking hydrochloroquine. I take it. Wow. President Trump just said, yeah, it's big. Like, I was like, what the F? Sean Hannity, in the least political tweet I think he's ever made, COVID casinos unveil new guidelines in the age of coronavirus. Masks are mandatory, but no buffets. Yeah, dude, if you're going into, like, if you're going into a place, wear a mask. Dr. Rich Bright was against her hydrochloroquine. And is a fake whistleblower, said POTUS. Do, can we stop with the name calling? And if you show up in Texas, we don't have to talk about Trump. And I'd prefer if you didn't. Because you don't have to talk about politicians. One of the coolest things my stepfather was an amazing Air Force kick-ass missile silo commander. A really great guy. A really wonderful, funny, smart human being. He said that Texas runs itself. That's so why we don't need some big, strong governor the rock star is because Texas governs itself. Texas take care of Texans. And that's one of the coolest things I've ever, and I believe that. I'm closing my eyes, but I can still read between the lines. And like I've said, that I don't believe President Trump came from the planet Krypton and is superhuman. So just like I've been trying to avoid getting the virus and trying to and stay in touch with my mama and my sister and my, and try, and my friends, like, don't get the virus, you know? If you believe in the president, you should be the same way and have been the same way. He said he's had four friends that he's known in life die from it. And dude, I tell you, if I had four friends I knew die from it, A, I'd be ashamed because I annoy my friends with my planetary defense commanderness. You can ask them, <laughs> like, you know, they're the first ones to hear about, oh my God, plague or oh my God, hurricane. 
if, if you know, anywho, so this is it. Like I said, this is some weird shit. What happens if the day comes and the president's like, oh shit, I got the virus. And I would say he's got a 50, 50 shot of living. Just like if I got it, I, my mind might be 70, 30. I'm only 48. He's 73. Anywho, what do you have to lose with taking hydrochloroquine? But I take a pill every day. We, I don't, it's a weird time that he just announced it. Came very close to becoming a landfalling system, but atmospheric defense won in the end again, apparently. Are the prayer warriors or asteroid all-star fight club? Hey, what about a summer celebrity all-star secret asteroid fight club meeting again? Well, I don't have to kiss the beautiful women that are there. There just has to be great rock and roll and protective bubbles put over Earth and Texas and everyone else. Yeah, Doom is like an aphrodisiac to me. And it's like the only thing, like, if I could get a reward for all my super hard work, it would be good cuddling. I know that sounds weird. I'm saying I, money's never really been my motivation. Power, I've always had way more than I wanted. You know, fame, I'm famous enough. You know what I'm saying? 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 You feel me? Although I would like to drive a car again. I miss driving a car. That was the whole thing when Governor Abbott was like, we're open in Texas. It's like, oh my God, I got to go for a drive. Oh no, I lost my car when it kept getting attacked. Long story. President says he's been taking hydrochloroquine. President says he's been taking hydrochloroquine. <laughs> Have you ever seen the movie Artificial Intelligence by Steven Spielberg and Kubrick? It's, I don't know, for some reason, it, it really gets to me. The part where he, she throws her son out of the car and is like, I'm sorry, I never told you about the world. That always makes me cry. But Gigolo Joe and Teddy are so cool. And and the robot chicks are hot. Yeah, Dominic Chu, hydrochloroquine is back in the news cycle. Wait, what? It's 26 minutes ago. I, that's when I just got stopped in my tracks. Appalachian flooding. Houston mayor, like I said, uh... We are, um, we're a city of like 14 million people. We only have 5,000 cases. Gar He's in searching for, hunting for water spots. Ariana Grande is like teardrops on my face. And I'm like, I don't know. The way she says on my face is so sexual in that tweet, I guess. I so said we had, we only had one person pass away in Texas today from COVID. So that's going down. This is a super cool photograph of, Air Force AF. My dad and my stepfather were in the Air Force. I was never in the military, but I'm your planetary defense commander. Because I have the utmost respect for our military men. And I was raised by a military family. But I'm a rebel, so I don't know. Like, I don't usually follow people. Megan's got a tweet, so I know it's real. I, I don't even know what that means, asterisk. So yeah, but the Dow is up 3.9% over the year, meaning it's like recovered all of its losses. I think. Cranky, the best weather guy on the planet, who I'd give the Medal of Meteorological Weather Freedom to, he would get my first medal, and then the Strokes would probably get my second medal. If you're offended by that, I don't know what to do with you. I bet in the next Thor movie, Thor returns back to near perfect physical condition, and the booty is either in my hand or is not in my hand. There's no such thing as Schrodinger's booty. The... The kind of theme song for 2020 is Our Love by Incubus. I asked a bunch of people to write like a superhero theme song for the year and Incubus is the one who won that contest. Uh, yeah, Sunspot. I got that magical Sunspot energy. It's like sunlight. You know, and so the Krypton does not hurt me as bad. I'm returning to form wave after wave after wave. Yes, there are definitely some people who are totally sick of me and wish I wasn't here. What was I looking for? I eat pressure for breakfast, said Nicolas Cage via Brooklyn 99. Yeah, this stuff. So they're reopening Texas. She's very pretty. You know, like, that's what Texas women look like. A lot of them look like Katya. Katya's married. Okay, I hope she's okay. I hope her and her family are happy and healthy. So Texas on May 22nd is reopening bars, bowling alleys, bingo halls, Simulcasting, skating rinks, rodeo, equestrian events, zoos, aquariums, natural caverns. And that made me like triple. First, I was like, I want to drive. Then I was like, I want to cuddle. And then I was like, and I want to go in natural caverns. And we probably passed the buckies on the way. So I'd be like, let us get some fudge. But remember, Eris is all over 2020. And Texas needs to focus on taking care of feeding its people and providing for the homeless. We should get stronger by taking 
better care of the homeless than ever. All right. And unless the USA has a giant plan to me, it's all just a stock market pumpage. And until, as long as solar minimum stands, she's just probably going to be more funked up. So like beaches are open, bars are open for Memorial Day. And if grand solar minimum versus super solar maximum is a battle of wills, then game on, bitches. Let's have some fun. All right, but it seems to me like the rally, the stock market rally is being held together with corpses and the unemployed being knitted together, just like Medusa's raft. I don't know if you're into like mythology and really cool paintings and stuff like that, but the S&P was up a whole dime today, bitches. That's a lot. And a lot of this has been done with by just yelling Obamagate again and again and again. What he used to like say was witch hunt, witch hunt, witch hunt. So now what you say is Obamagate, Obamagate, Obamagate. And the stock markets go up. It's really crazy. We got, uh, the hopium is at all time highs. And then here is when they announce Texas can play professional sports, but without spectators. And that plan sounds a whole lot more difficult to implement than it may sound you know what i'm saying and we got our next hurricane to be watching for i think it's in like 10 days it, do we get to draft people to texas if so my first draft picks are jay Casablancas, dave Chappelle, and eddie murphy i'm not naming any women because if i haven't cuddled in 2.5 years then i'm gonna be wearing rose colored glasses and you know so uh i'd probably be trying to draft someone I might be able to cuddle with as a and I'm not trying to cuddle with Julian, Dave, or Eddie. That's what I'm trying to say. I was drafting women that I could cuddle with. It, you know, it would be like Selena uh, Taylor, if you can convert her, Billy, um, Emma. I don't know, dude. Who knows? I've never even talked to any of these people. Asterisk. What's I talking about? Oh yeah. So Texans, Texas Strike Force. You got to do this smart though. We don't need no, like, dumbasses saying, hey, follow my dumbass rules. The president just tested for hydrochloroquine. We are facing the White Walkers, dude, and he's about to throw a giant spear down the wall. And what I've said the whole time is that we're going to get, like, the summer off, quote-unquote, and then it's going to resurge, and we're totally going to re-screw up the opening, and we haven't fixed anything. This is, like, the most retrograde day ever because there are five planets in retrograde. It was so weird because it was like there was this giant surge of like, Texas is ready to go for it. God bless Texas. Yay, Texas. And then the president was like, I'm taking hydrochloroquine. That was crazy. Honestly, I think Texas needs to have a video town hall meeting as soon as possible to remind everyone to be smart, to be cool, and to play great Texas defense. And I shouted this out to Matthew McConaughey, Mark Cuban, Governor Abbott, Mike Judge, and Sylvester Turner. Once again, the I haven't cuddled in 2.5 months rules apply, so... Um, yeah, I gotta do exercise. I should probably take a shower too. I'm showered in May. So yeah, this is me when I started as planetary defense commander. And there was me now after being locked down for two years. I'm pretty sure I'll get in shape again at some point. And this is one hour ago at the very peak of the surge of the Texas energy and then the hydrochloroquine energy. I was like, oh, I can feel it when somebody out there is really like, oh, we got us kill thor we got to get rid of thor when people have those serious discussions somewhere around earth i can kind of feel it so when i felt it, i heard aki reno and will smith in stereo saying here we go again and even i missed my edited videos i gotta find that soundbite so it's super strobe energy ariana yeah i have a crush on her too and so like if any of my crushes and there's like five more that i've you know you can search it I've listed of that I would cuddle with today. That I would take a chance on. I've been pl I don't have the virus because I've been playing super duper amazing solid defense since the very end of January. And if you've been doing the same, then I would probably cuddle with you. Well, I mean, if you're one of my ten, what am I talking about? Yes, yeah, so dude, it has been crazy. It will continue to be crazy, and I will do my best to bring you guys the best. But you know. I pray the president's okay. I pray the president doesn't have the virus. I pray the president doesn't die from the virus. But I pray that everybody plays great defense and comes together 
as one American family to deal with all the problems that we have, people. And I, yeah, I hope Wonder Woman picks up my hammer in her hands. I get to go for a drive, natural caverns. All right, everybody stay cool. I love you. Stay positive. I'm so sick of negativity. That is like so not me anymore. Although I was never negative, but I'm saying I'm just not in the mood to deal with negativity. I love you guys. You guys are amazing. God bless everyone. Stay cool. Let's live long and prosper, and may the force be with us always.